Hello everyone and welcome back to the Adventures of T3. Hello. Hmm. And of course everybody loves the Adventures of T3. Or maybe not. I don't know. But yes, I'm uh, I kind of forgot what we are supposed to do here, but we'll probably find some interesting stuff. Hey big guy, you're in the way. Infiltrator gloves, how useful for T3. I certainly hope that rude C7 unit didn't send you over here. Those more recent models have no etiquette programming whatsoever. Did he? I think you should be replaced or shipped down to maintenance to direct droids there. But I cannot seem to convince my masters of the logic of the request. Okay. Oh, I wouldn't go that far, despite what others would say. A number designation for a C7 unit means far more than an integer increase. Okay. Some droids undergo radical changes. Really have no idea what this is about. Each numeric jump in sequence can have wide-ranging changes in functionality and temperament. But then, you are a new model yourself. I wouldn't expect you to understand how it feels. Now, was there something I could help you with? Uh, yeah, deed, 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 deed. I see. Well, good. Oh. Apparently he couldn't help. It's amazing here. I am sorry, but only authorized cargo droids are allowed into the warehouse. I cannot permit you to enter. No. In fact, I do not have you on my list of Coding's acquisitions. How? Uh. I see. Yeah, whatever. Well, I have no current use for you. I'll assign you to C6E3. He needs the help to make up for his inferior. If you do not wish to comply with these instructions, Good. Now. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Come on, open it. It's just a box. You can do it. Oh, you're back. That C7 droid absolutely infuriates me. Needs help to do my job, do I? Yes. That's what he said. I would be happy to help you, but as long as that C7 unit is perched at the door, I can't. Well, if the C7 unit were to be disabled, my programming would require me to take over his responsibilities in his absence. Okay, I think I can I arrange that. Give you access to the next room. Oh. I'll use my shock arm. What's all the commotion? Oh, I see. Well, that will show it. Obsolete piece of junk, indeed. <laughs> I like these droids. Come on, hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Just a moment. There. Thank you. Good droid. Um, hi. He's busy. He's trying to repair the communications relay. Hmm. I thought maybe I could help him out, but uh whatever. Empty metal box. Oh, wait. 
Let's save just in case stuff goes wrong. see what happens. Oh, I get it. So, if I move this one counterclockwise... Clockwise. No. Uh, I guess I need to match the pattern. If no, I need to rotate it. Counterclockwise, maybe, and then this one. Counterclockwise. And this one clockwise. Oh my, you startled me. <laughs> what are you doing here? I like these rods. The transponder codes of all ships leaving the docks. Then transmit departure information for any of Long of the Hunt's freighters. Uh, okay. Is he going to steal some of those the transponders? Sent to a remote computer system. Oh, I see. In that case, I will upload the transponder codes to you. And here's the blank transponder card you need. You're Thanks. Welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go back to monitoring the traffic. It is important that. Okay, it's in this thing. Yeah, you probably are. Uh, come back later. Okay, I'll come back later. Oh, what's this? Who are you? You're not supposed to be here. Uh oh. Negative statement. You have the list of Voga's launch codes. You will give these to us now, or else we will be forced to take drastic action. Surprised statement. You are foolish to think we will allow you to take. Amused <laughs> query. I think you will find the odds are somewhat in our favor. Incredulous statement. Then we will have to take them from you, which I assure you was our preference to begin with. Launch the Iron Striker! Uh-oh. Uh... Destruction kit. Quickly! Before I get destroyed. Uh. I need the Iron Blast Mark 1. Optimal. 
Oh no, maybe not. Maybe I need an advanced repair kit first. Need another one. Now I need this. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Ah, the last part for HK-47. I believe it's the last part. This is awesome. Never mind. Uh, Well, T3 don't give a shit. Hey, it's like honey badger. It's astromech droid. I thought you got sold. I don't believe this. He says he's got the transponder codes that Godo's using to hijack Voga's freighters. We could go to the repair shop by the landing pad to overhaul the Ebonhawk's codes. From there, we should make a nice target for Godo. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, give him the stare. Yeah, right. You're the one who wanted to sell him to Goto in the first place. <laughs> oh, now he's an official party member. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I could also change it to one of these. Well, I'll use one of the other ones. Two party members will be able to board it. Oh, um. Second person. I'll go for the handmaiden. Yeah, she's pretty good at fighting. Look, it's Godo. I was expecting someone taller. I hope you are not in too much pain to hear my words and understand them. I am Goto, one of the officials representing a percentage of non-sanctioned trading here in both the YouTube system and the YouTube system. And I had a question for you. <clears throat> are you a Jedi? Uh no, I turned from the Jedi long ago. That is unfortunate. Still, perhaps you have some I have gone to considerable expense and effort to bring you here. Because I have a job for you. Hmm. Is that why you hired every bounty hunter and assassin in the galaxy? Yes. Don Paragas has set in motion events that I can no longer control. Not to be melodramatic. 
magic, but I fear it has broken the galaxy irrevocably. This has occupied much of my attention, and there seems to be no predictable way to resolve the situation. Uh... So, let me get this straight. You want me to help the Republic? In one standard month, the Republic will collapse. No new war or secession because it lacks the infrastructure to support itself. It is unknown to all but a few, but the Republic lost the Jedi Civil War. At the time of their defeat, the Republic was on the brink of collapse. Rather than remain and continue his campaign against the Republic, however, Revan chose to leave known space. A frustrating turn of events as a rallying figurehead could have done much to restore order. Aha. Uh -huh. And what do you expect me to do about There's it? Something moving in the galaxy that lies beyond the ability of my instruments to detect or predict. I believe it to be a legacy of the Sith, but I have been unable to determine the source. Whatever this presence is, it is staging strikes at key figures throughout the Republic, and through some unknown means, it is causing the destruction of worlds. Qatar, a Miraluka world in the Mid Rim, was one such place. I have reason to suspect there was a gathering of Jedi on that world when it was rendered lifeless. I cannot find any pattern in these attacks, and it is a source of frustration to me. There is some clue, however, that perhaps the Jedi are. Uh huh. Well, I don't care what happens to the Republic. Let us fall you to the Sith. Understand me. I do not wish to stop the Sith any more than I wish to stop the Jedi. It is simply important to me that the infighting amongst these Jedi religious branches be resolved so the galaxy may be put back together. I do not care which one triumphs. I only want the universe to settle down for a while, catch its breath. All these constant crises are getting somewhat repetitive. And bad for business. But... You don't care which side wins as long as the Republic stays intact? You say I am something of a patriot. Although I was unable to serve during the troubles with the Mandalorians or against the aggressors known as Malak and Revan, I am able and willing to serve now. The problem is... I can find no sign to choose. Both are hidden from me as they seem to be hiding from each other. Irritating. It is like a Dejarin board where neither player can see the other nor see all the pieces. It is not a fair game, an equitable game. Well, then maybe you should try Pazak. The Republic deserves to die, and it has been too long suffering as it is. If you care nothing for the Republic, perhaps finding the source of these Sith and resolving the situation would be to our mutual benefit. There is no margin for error when I say that these Sith seek to murder you and all Jedi everywhere. They have been quite efficient. And when they dispose of you, there will be nothing left to stop them. And the galaxy will fall under their influence. Hmm. I have no intention of stopping the Sith. I understand. I merely wished the situation resolved. If the Sith are the more capable of both parties, then it is only logical that they fill the vacuum the Jedi and the Senate cannot. I am a businessman. The Republic needs stability to survive prosper and grow. Whether it is led by the Sith or supported by the Jedi is of no consequence to me. Uh... Yeah, maybe you should pay attention to troubles on your own ship. Proximity alarm. We are under attack. Somehow your allies have found you. Unexpected. You will remain here under guard. I must see to the defense of my ship. Whatever.
Ready. Let's see how well these two work together. Somehow, I can't imagine them working together very well. Uh, let's see. What does she have to offer? I guess I will go for... Master Power Attack. Why not? My life is yours. Yes, it is. Uh Alright. I don't know what the count is. Download program overload, probably not smart. Interior defense region consists of over one dozen mines. These mines are programmed to not be triggered by Goto droids. Hmm. Audience chamber defense consists of eight powerful turrets supported by several combat ready droids. The exterior defense. Over a dozen powerful turrets. 